Hello! Well, banana bread is one of the most searched for recipes on the internet and you can see why, because it is delicious. How could you possibly improve banana bread? Well, the answer is... Put it in a jar. Oh yes, banana bread in a jar comes from our cookbook. Amazing cookbook. And it's a great thing, a great food to take camping. There you are, stuck in the middle of a field, craving banana bread, but hey, you've got some. To and hand. actually, it lasts in this jar for a good few days, because uh, you put, as soon as it's cooked, you put the lid on, and it keeps and fresh you and can moist. Eat it in the car, and no crumbs. You eat put it in the tent. Container. It's amazing. So what you need, obviously, you need bananas. The riper, the better some butter and some sugar, some eggs and some flour. And Claire, finally you need some chocolate. chocolate. You can use nuts, you can use raisins, but of but course you also need chocolate jars. There we go, so let's get cooking. First, I'm gonna to cream together the butter and sugar in my freestanding mixer. You can, of course, just do this by hand or using one of those hand mixers as well, but you know, a good old wooden spoon will get the same effect. So in goes the sugar, followed by the butter. Okay. Are you ready? Okay, that looks all nicely creamed together now. Uh, and next I'm going to add my eggs. Strange, no matter how old you are, how many eggs you've cracked, there's something so satisfying about it. That's true. And now my flour goes in. I've got a mixture of self-raising uh, with a bit of wholemeal uh, stuck in as well. Not too much, so my kids won't notice. They won't go, oh, this isn't white flour. Right, that looks good. So I'm going to finish it off by hand, actually. Okay, do you want me to preheat the oven? Yes, gosh, I forgot I hadn't done that. 140, please. So if you cook these on a low heat, uh, the glass won't crack. Glass is fine to be heated till about 140, but any higher and it will crack. So we're going to do it for longer, lower. Right, now I just need to put in the banana. These bananas right. are so ripe oh. that I didn't actually have to mash them. Had they not been this ripe, I definitely would have mashed them before. Next, add the chocolate. This is a great way of using up leftover chocolate, leftover Christmas, Easter decorations. This is a mix of just stuff I've had lying around, but you can also put sultanas in it, raisins, nuts. I often put that ground seed mix in. Just a couple of teaspoons, I never, ever, ever notice. It's called Eating Well, Health by Stealth. We should do a series on that, it's got quite a nice ring to it. So uh, just a couple of spoonfuls, it needs to be just under the halfway mark. If you see I'm trying, not very successfully, but I'm trying not to get any mixture on the outside or at the top uh, because I want it all to bake evenly. These jars are um, straight sided so you can actually pop the banana bread out if you want to. They're quite difficult to get here in Britain. I had to order them from a special bakery shop but I've used them lots of times. But also you can get the Bon Maman ones which are like a special French jam and they're the only ones I found that have got a straight side as well. So if you can't get these ones. But if you want to just eat it from the jar. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And now they go in the oven. I'm gonna check them after 30 minutes. Low heat, about 140 degrees. Okay, so here we go. So here they are. The recipe link is down below, or they're also in our book. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I think they're cool enough. Look how greedy we are. We just can't, can't wait. wait for the jars to be... Oh, so yummy. Mmm. Mmm, honestly, not too hot. Everything tastes better in a jar. <laughs> <laughs> Food on the move, let mm. us know what you like to eat when you're camping, when you're out on the road. Let us know, mm. we'd love to hear. Yeah, we'd love to know. Let us know below. In the meantime, happy holidays, happy eating. <laughs> frittata. Frittata. You say frittata, I say frittata. No, no. frittata. I say frittata because that's correct. <laughs>